I am planning a new research project because I am interested in learning more about children with attention deficits. That sounds like an interesting subject. What research approach are you planning to use? I am a quantitative researcher so I am planning to use numbers, test scores and measurements. This way, I will be able to assign a number to each child. How can you describe something as complex as a person, using numbers? Oh, that's easy. I could give them all a test in order to get a score, or I could get a score by asking their parents to complete a survey with questions about their child's distractibility, or, I could use a stopwatch to measure how much time they attend to classwork in one hour of classroom time. All of these are ways that I could operationalize attention. By operationalizing the construct of attention, I can get a number that describes the attention of each child. This will make it much easier to study this construct. And, if I use a strong sampling technique and if I can get a large enough sample, then, I will be able to use my sample to make generalizations about the population from which I drew my sample. I am still not convinced that you can use numbers to describe children. I am a qualitative researcher, and, I would suggest that you work with a small group of children so that you can ask them about their thoughts and experiences. Their own words can provide you with a much richer source of information than any test or survey score. After you interview a number of children, you will find that certain patterns or themes will emerge. These themes can help you to describe the thoughts and experiences of the children themselves. The children's own words can provide us with information about their perspective in a way that numbers could never do. I don't think so. In any group of children you can notice that children have different levels of distractibility. I really want to help professionals to identify individual children who have problems with distractibility that are so severe, that they need additional support. In order to do this, I need to get data from a large number of children. Then, I can determine the scores that would indicate that a child's ability to maintain attention was two standard deviations below the mean. Schools need this information in order to determine which children would benefit from additional services. While there may be some value to qualitative research approaches, I cannot use a qualitative approach to develop a normed test that will be able to compare the score of a specific child to national norms based on a large sample of children. For this, we need to use methods in which we represent each child with a number. Of course if you want to develop a normed test you will need to use quantitative approaches. Your research approach always needs to match the type of research question that you are asking, but the questions that you can answer using quantitative approaches are, so, limited. Quantitative methods are based on the idea that if you measure something carefully, and control other factors you can get at some simple, distilled truth. We are all complex people living in a complex world, and there really is not any single test score that can tell you if a child needs additional support at school, and, there is certainly no single test that can tell you what kinds of interventions are most helpful to children with attention deficits. I know that a single test score has limited value, but test scores are still useful tools for professionals who work with children. Also, once I have used a measurement to identify children with significant problems with attention deficit, then, I can do other research studies. I can use a t-test to see if the GPAs of these children differ from those of children without this issue. I can use correlations to see if there is a relationship between attention deficit and factors such as consumption of sugar or intelligence. I can use different quantitative methods to address a wide range of research questions. Using these methods, I can answer research questions about what is most typical within the population of children with attention deficit. Yes, but you need to remember to think about the relationship between the researcher and the people being researched. In quantitative studies, there is generally a powerful researcher who is studying a set of research subjects with very little power. As a qualitative researcher, 
I work to empower the individuals in my studies. I call the individuals that I work with participants, and in some qualitative methods the participants have a role as co-investigators. My role as a researcher is to empower my participants and inform professionals about the thoughts, priorities, and experiences of these individuals. We empower individuals by sharing their words, not by representing each individual with a number. I have a lot more to say on this subject. For example, I could talk about the problems with generalizability in qualitative research. I could also talk about these issues for hours. But, they are probably getting tired of listening to us. Okay, if they want to know more, they can always read their textbooks. Bye. Bye.